Hi, I'm Joe. And I'm Stephanie, and we're from AWS. Today, we're going to be talking about how to select the correct welding process. The first thing you may want to consider when selecting a welding process is the material thickness. So for me, I prefer TIG welding. Now for a single pass when TIG welding, I often don't want to go beyond an eighth of an inch. And I prefer the shielded metal arc welding and flux core process because I'm typically working on materials up to an inch in thickness. And these processes get great penetration and provide the results I'm after when welding. Next, we need to talk about the materials. Now, I personally weld on a lot of aluminum, anodized coated aluminum, copper, and other specialty materials, so I always have to go with a TIG welding setup. And I typically weld on steels and alloy steels, whether it's pipe or a structural environment. Typically, I'm using MIG or stick. Next, we want to consider the welding environment. I'm typically in the field where we're dealing with weather, not ideal conditions, so the stick and flux core process are far more forgiving and allow me to get quality welds. For me, I normally weld in a controlled shop environment, so I like to run my gas tungsten arc welding setup. Now, if you're working in the field in a food grade or pharmaceutical environment, you will want to check your WPS because you may be required to run a gas tungsten arc welding setup. That's a great point. The application of the welding will be specified in the WPS. And if you're not working off a of WPS, it just depends on what you're welding and who you're welding it for. There may be specific requirements that dictate the welding process, such as codes, quality, and materials. For example, some materials can only be welded with a gas tungsten arc welding process, like anodized aluminum. One more thing to consider is the position in which you're going to be welding. As a TIG welder, I can weld in all positions, whether that's flat, horizontal, vertical, or overhead. The only thing that's going to limit you when TIG welding is your skills. When it comes to MIG and stick welding, the consumable being used may limit your welding position. And remember, when selecting the right welding process, it's always important to consider the material you're welding, the application, and being comfortable with the process you've selected. And that's why you practice. <laughs> 